And what about some of these other benefits of ensembling? Um, feel free to pick one and talk about it. I'll pick, I'll pick whip. Um, so, I mean, just mathematically, if you have 15 people and you've got three mobs, then you're likely only going to have three things going on. And whip is insidious. Um, the increased whip tends to lead to exponentially worsening cycle times. And so as you are doing more things simultaneously, what happens, and, and I, I mean, Cody is, is one of the senior people on our team. When we were not managing whip, it was very hard to get any of his time because he was constantly being pulled between things. Oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? We actually put a whip limit on our, our, our both what's to be done, well, sorry, what's doing, in being done, and what needs to be reviewed. And so we actually stopped doing new development if we have too much to be QA'd, to be put into the trunk. And uh, that's really been, been helpful. So high whip tends to reduce code quality. High whip tends to increase cycle time. And so reduced, reducing whip tends to have a really positive effect. And the problem is it's one of these things that's, in my opinion, it's kind of ineffable. You don't really understand just how powerful fast feedback is until you've experienced it. And as a, as a weird example, the first time I heard about Git, I thought, well, why would I ever want a peer-to-peer? -peer? I'm perfectly good with CVS. I actually said something like that, and I'm embarrassed to say it. And then I started using Git, and I'm like, oh, there, there was no way with my understanding of client server-based revision control software that I could have understood Git until I used Git. It's, it was just, and then once I used Git, it's like, oh, oh, this is, peer-to-peer -peer is amazing. Why the hell would I ever not use peer? But I didn't have the models of understanding. And, and pretty much <laughs> reducing WIP is huge. Reducing batch size. A 900-line pull request is, is un, un, it's, it's, it's unreviewable because unless you stop all reviews, the amount of time it takes to do a 900-line review is, is big enough that the code is going to change invalidating the review. And so these are all hidden costs that we just consider normal prices of doing business because that's how we learn. But just because that's how we learn to do it doesn't mean it's the way to do it. Right. Actually look at what's going on. Pay attention to the signals around you and you're going to find that these are things that work better. People are happier. You get higher quality work. You get things done faster. I mean, all these things are just side effects of working this way. It's a structural improvement without having to do much. If, if you can get over the ego stuff and so on.